Welcome to this session on the first week of distance learning. The purpose of this session is to highlight some key ideas that maybe you haven't thought of yet before when it comes to planning your return to school this year. Distance learning by definition is an academic program where the students and the teacher are separated from one another geographically. Let's start with the first learning concept. Who is your audience? The age of the students in your learning experience will determine the scope, sequence, and pace of your learning strategies. For example, if you are working with kindergarten students, you're not going to jump into Flipgrid on day three of your learning experience. And quite frankly, you probably aren't going to use Flipgrid in kindergarten from a distance learning perspective at all. But on the other hand, your sixth grade students who might be familiar with Flipgrid could be ready for Flipgrid on that very first week of school. So you are going to need to determine your scope, sequence, and pace. Another question to explore is what type of support do your learners have? During the day, some children will spend time at grandma's house. And for other learners, they have access to a daycare worker and some students have access to a parent. The type of support that any one child will have could significantly impact the learning that they experience in this distance learning model. And that's something to pay attention to. Item number three on this slide, what supply gaps may be present? Do the children in your classroom have access to the internet? Do they each have a computer? Do they have access to a printer? If you're working on a science experiment and you're requiring that they use rice, do they have access to those resources? Even scissors or crayons or paper. Think about what you're expecting them to use. Try not to assume that every household will have access to all of those supplies. Although students may come from a two-parent home during the day, they may not have access to all of those resources. So as you're designing lessons, just build enough grace to make sure that students will have access to those. If you plan on doing a science experiment where you want the children to repeat that same ex science experiment at home, my recommendation to you is provide all of those supplies and then notify families well enough in advance that those supplies will be waiting outside of the door of the classroom. Just pay attention to the requests that you're making as far as supplies are concerned. Not all students will have access to all of those resources during the whole of each learning day. Now, what does research say about the distance learning model? One particular article noted the role of the mentor and how it significantly impacts learning outcomes. The presence of a well-equipped adult inside of the home significantly impacts the access to material for any one child. If a child doesn't know or understand how to perform a task, that could be a two hour, four hour, or a six hour delay, or it could be a two day, a four day, or a six day delay. It all just depends on when that question is answered. So do recognize that the presence or the absence of a mentor slash tutor could just be a parent or a sibling, will impact learning outcomes. What are your week one goals? Your week one goals when you're physically on campus are going to be different from your week one goals in a distance learning environment. Some of them might be similar. Your goals might include relationships, togetherness, and names. You are interfacing with children you have never met before. Procedures. What are the expectations on how any one particular day will function? You also have an opportunity to gain foundational data. How many children are in the home? How many pieces of technology do they have? What are their skill sets? Are they outgoing? Are they introverted? Do they enjoy interacting with others? Familiarity with tech is another foundational data element that you're going to gain in the course of that very first week. If you ask families to do very small tasks in that one week, some students will complete that task quickly and others might take the entire week to perform a very simple task. During week one, you might have an opportunity to also reveal to the students what they can expect in the weeks to come. On the next slide, I'm showcasing the idea of materials. The distribution of materials will also occur in that very first week. 
and you have an opportunity to navigate hiccups and questions in the context of that very first week of learning. What is reasonable? As you form your plan, recognize that some parents are helping several children use new tools all at once. Some parents might have seven children. Those parents might be working full time and in the context of their home, they might only have three devices that are available for the children. If you can limit or monitor the amount of digital rich learning tools, it might be a blessing to some families. Are there times where you can assign work that is done on paper? When the children are doing that independent practice, some of it can be performed in paper and pencil if that's reasonable. And then using one device inside of the home, either mom's cell phone, dad's iPad, or any of one of the district offered computers, there's a camera embedded into each one of those devices. And then the camera can take a snapshot of whatever was written, and then it can be turned in in Google Classroom. If you provide students with diverse learning tools, paper, and computer, it also limits screen exposure, which is another thing to consider. When it comes to the distance learning environment, it is prudent to pause and realize that hiccups will happen. Devices will stop working, and not everyone in that home will know how to fix them. You may assign a video that has been blocked by Clovis Unified. You, an adult, an employee of Clovis Unified, can see it just fine, but the students might not be able to see it. Be flexible. Send an email to Sherry Johnston. <laughs> Breathe. It's going to be okay. Now, what if you assign something that requires flash and a family does not know how to enable that? Or the microphone. They can't enable the microphone. Or the video. The camera is not working on the computer. Clovis Unified, based on the knowledge that I have right now, is supposed to form a parent support line so that parents can reach out and get the help that they need and they don't always have to ask you, the teacher, how to fix all of those problems. So hopefully, if you haven't already received that information, hopefully you'll have access to that information and you can share it with parents so they can reach out and ask for support with technology when they need help with technology. Now, I cannot adjust the wind, but I can adjust my sail. In the course of providing distance learning instruction, I know that my instructional delivery will be different I know that assessments are going to be different, and I also know that my end goals may need to adjust, and all of this is quite understandable. On the next slide, I have a weekly plan, and I kind of give you a helicopter overview of what a classroom might look like, and at the top of this document, I note that it's a week four plan because it is going to take several weeks for some learning environments to get up and running so that a plan of this nature can function properly. Some of the things on this next slide would not be week one goals or expectations. So here I have a sample of a week four learning plan and this would not be a kindergarten week four learning plan. It wouldn't be a first grade week four learning plan. It wouldn't be a second grade week four learning plan. But this is a model that might work for some of our upper grade students. Along the left, it shows reading, writing, math, PE, social studies, and science, as well as additional learning tools at the bottom. Clovis Unified at this point in time, I believe, is not requiring those PE standards, so just pay attention to your site leadership to figure out what you're supposed to do with PE or if you can just leave that off altogether. At this time, Clovis Unified has said that our social studies and science curriculum should be embedded within that reading and writing component so it doesn't need to be an independent block all by itself. You're in charge of your classroom, figure out what works best for your students. At some point in time, your parents will probably reach out and say, I don't have enough for my child. My child has finished all of these assignments. What do we do next? In my opinion, it might be helpful to have an area at the bottom of the document so that as parents have those questions, You've already answered those questions at the bottom of the document, pointing them to other advanced resources for their children. These would be optional and not mandated. When you provide your families with a document like this each week, in my opinion, it is helpful. 
If any parent is trying to serve four children at the same time, they have a tool where they can put little check marks next to each of the tasks that are completed. They can also plan well inside of their own home as far as who will use tech at what time. Although this uh, learning plan is not required, my own personal thought is that it's an effective communication tool. That way, not only the students, but the parents know what is required or expected of them throughout the week. Please always remember that you get to bring your special spark. You still get to add your special spark to everything you do. This is your classroom, and these are your students until the learning pathway changes, and you may or may not have these students during that transition. Yes, you can do a scavenger hunt. Yes, you can do a dance party. This is your special learning place. Let your individual personality shine and continue to enjoy the love of learning and teaching. This very last slide showcases some of the credits from the pictures that I borrowed. Thank you so much for watching today's video and have a great day.